Fellow graduates, I stand in front of you today as, ideally, a representative of the graduating class. However, I recognize that I may not have met every single person in this room. Yet, I know you. I know you because I know you all embody what it means to be a tiger. Tigers are limitless, they are driven, and above all, tigers embody Nihil said optimum, nothing but the best. As an elementary school student, when the bell made its timely, shrill echo through the halls, I would make a dash for the swings. I would loop my arms around the chains with the seat behind my waist as I took a few steps backward. As we took that step backward on the swing, we recognized that moving back and beginning with a run would allow us to swing higher in a shorter period of time. In addition to the swings, I also remember spending many an hour on the merry-go-round. As one person ran, spinning the carousel, I would clutch on, and with a well-timed execution, the runner would hop on as well. In order to build momentum, someone needed to be on the ground, running along beside us. As without someone to give you that push, you would still be sitting on a stationary merry-go-round, not enjoying the short period of time you had to play. No matter where your path takes you, never forget your roots or where you came from. They ensured your brown paper bag lunch was packed on that first day of kindergarten oh so many years ago. The first thing I would like to do is to thank all of the wonderful teachers that I've had the pleasure of learning from at this school. The work that you do for us is truly nothing but the best. It is because of you, all of our caring and amazing staff, that we are all so proud to be called McNally Tigers. As an 18 year old, there are a lot of things that I can't do. I don't know how to do taxes, I can't cook, and I'm terrible at parking. When you think about it, the things that we have learned over the years from our amazing teachers and parents far outweigh that which we have yet to learn. Whenever you're confronted by a problem for which you feel you are not prepared, remember that which you have been taught for the last 17 to 18 years of your life and you'll find that you are much more ready than you think. So, seize the day. Take the time to enjoy life's every moment today and appreciate all those around you. Appreciate those who brought you up, supported you throughout the hardest times. Always remember that tomorrows can be great beginnings. Soon, we will all be heading in different directions. Life is unpredictable and fragile. It changes every single day, every single hour, every single minute, and every single second. The beauty in life sometimes is not knowing what comes ahead. So use this unpredictability to your advantage. I hope you each take this curiosity with you wherever you go. And again, I hope you try to find these answers, but never actually find them. I want you to leave tonight knowing that though your time at McNally may be nearing its completion, your last high school curtain may have already closed, last whistle blown, or last IB exam written, that despite these endings, the culminations of your achievements within those beige halls will continue to linger and inspire future generations of graduates. So why are you here today? Was it because on your first day of kindergarten, you pictured yourself here in this hall wearing a grad cap and gown? I doubt it. We are here because we took the necessary small steps that carried us here. Finishing kindergarten was a milestone. In hindsight, it was a small step that brought us to today, which is most certainly a grand success. And in years to come, this graduation will have become a small step in future accomplishments. You made it. You have made your dreams a reality. So where does that leave us? 17 or 18 years of life have passed, and we have grown in every conceivable way. Our teachers have spent countless hours, both inside and outside of the classroom, divulging invaluable wisdom. They've challenged us with new projects, provoked us to tackle complex questions, and through this all, shown us a new part of ourselves. The funny thing about life is that it rarely ever works out the way we plan anyway. When I was two, I wanted to be a hockey player. When I was six, I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was 12, a writer. Now, I just want to make it through my gap year in one piece. So embrace the unpredictability of life. 
Welcome the uncertainty. Let it mess with your plans. And don't be afraid to take some detours. Because as much as we try to figure it all out, I'm not sure that we ever really will. My last wish for you is to have the courage to start over. Despite what you may think or have been told, you can start over as many times as you need to. And I hope you do. It's true that our experiences and choices lead us to becoming the people we are. But if you find that in five, 10, or even 30 years from now, that's not someone you want to be, start over. The only place to find the answer to that be all end all question of where do we go from here is to look intrinsically. Find what keeps you up at night and make those your life's work. Whether this means carving out a new field of science, reinventing the wheel, or otherwise. As long as you are passionate about what you are pursuing, then you can be happy and live a life with no regrets, no wonders about the road not taken. Live relentlessly and lean in. Thank you. <laughs>